guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today I will be showing you my first ever perm rod set on my now short natural hair. So if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned. I have already washed and conditioned my hair. Y'all know I like to start off on clean hair for any of my hairstyles. I used Curl Smith products, but that will be shown in another video coming soon. Just gotta get it approved by the brand. But now I'm taking my Goddess Curl divine hair elixir and I'm going to apply that to my scalp and also along my hairline um, if you guys have not gotten your bottle definitely go down and click the website supports we are almost sold out you guys we're like at the last few bottles so I'm just super duper happy about that thank you to anyone who has bought a bottle but yeah, this is made with castor oil, jojoba, um, olive, uh, peppermint. It has some great ingredients in it that are going to help moisturize, especially if you have like dry scalp like me. It helps to promote hair growth, helps add shine, prevents frizz, like so many different benefits. So I'm just gonna work that on in. So now I am just going to take my spray bottle and spray all over my hair to make sure it's nice and wet. And then once I do that, I'm going to take this My L Avocado Moisturizing Hair Milk and I'm gonna take a nice amount of this and just apply it all over my hair. I wanted to save some time because I knew adding the perm rods would take forever. So instead of doing this section by section I just went ahead and slapped it in my hair and um, just raked it through to make sure that all of my strands were coated and I've used these two pro or the two products that you will see today I've used um, plenty of times on my channel and I did just recently use this for my um, mousse wash and go if you guys watched that so yeah this hair milk is super moisturizing it is nice and creamy and just softening so yeah once i do that then i'm going to section off my hair and start getting ready to put these perm rods in So this is just one of my bags of perm rods. I'm so glad I did not get rid of my smaller perm rods, you guys. I almost threw them away because I didn't think I would need them. I didn't know I was going to like randomly cut off my hair. But yeah, I'm gonna be using the gray perm rods in the back. And then as I get to the top, I will use the white perm rods. They're very similar in size, but they are a little different. And I do get my perm rods from the beauty supply. So this is my first section. I parted my hair halfway from ear to ear, then I split that in two, and then from those two, I split those in two. Um, you guys will see once I kind of show you, but uh, I wanted to work in small sections just because these perm rods are small, so you don't want to be trying to put like a huge chunk of hair on it. It's just not going to work out right. So now I'm taking this my L mousse, and I'm just going to run that down my hair. I love using mousse for perm rod sets. You also can just use a cream, but I just really wanted to make sure I had some holes. So this is the Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curly Mousse, which is almost empty. This is one of my favorite mousses, you guys. So everything will be linked down below for you to purchase. But yeah, it's nice. It's moisturizing. It smells good. And it just really um, gives me the softness, but also the hold that I need for a perm rod set. So once I work that on in i am just going to take my perm rod and start rolling it or rolling my hair so i kind of just place the ends on the perm rod and then and then start rolling up um this wasn't just a teeny bit tricky just because my hair is so short now so i really have to like i don't know it's a little tricky but yeah once i do that then i just secure it with the little rubber band piece over the roots make sure you're putting the rubber band over your root so that it's tight and doesn't fall down and that's how i do it so i'm just going to kind of show you guys a few more times what i did
this in other perm rod set videos but if you guys didn't notice perm rods do have little slits on the ends that you can use to help make sure that the rubber band goes over your root so i put it to the opposite side so that it would be easier to place the rubber band over my root so that it's nice tight and secure not super tight if you do have a perm rod that's too tight just loosen it as you guys see i just did um but yeah that is a little trick i don't know if everyone knows this um but i just wanted to show you guys that so i'm just going to fast forward show you guys the entire process um this did take me i'm not gonna lie y'all this took me about two hours so i don't know when the next time is gonna be when i do this again but yeah just keep watching forever of rotting my hair this is my hair completely rotted up i'm gonna do a 360 for you there is a piece a curly piece that i forgot to rot up but i did do that off camera so don't worry about that but if i had to take a guess i had maybe 40 rods in my head i don't know i did sit underneath my hooded dryer and then air dried the rest overnight and the next day it was perfectly fine and dry my hair is much shorter now so it does dry a lot quicker than it did when my hair was longer so i am just taking out the rods now um you guys can see the cute little curls that i have so i'm gonna just fast forward through this and i was kind of checking to make sure it was dry because you just never know so this is what the curls are looking like but of course y'all know i gotta go in and separate and make this look cute so i'm gonna go in with my divine hair elixir one more time just to add to my hands to add some shine to the curls and also to help prevent frizz as i separate so yeah separating is the same process as it has always been i'm just taking small pieces twirling it around my finger to enhance the curl and i'm gonna do that all over now next time i do this i probably would take a rod out and then separate because since my hair is so short it was kind of hard to like figure as i like was separating the curls i kind of was getting confused on like where the next um i don't know the next piece or the next clump of hair was because it was all just blending in if that makes any type of sense but i'm rambling now so yeah i'll just fast forward through this
Alright you guys, so I have already laid my edges a little bit. Now I'm going in with this little pick um, to just finish off fluffing my hair. I kind of did majority of it off camera because it'd be hard to like really fix my hair the way I want it with this camera. I'd be needing to get up close in my bathroom mirror. But um, yeah, I'm just going to go in continue picking just to make sure I have the volume I want if I need to I'll separate some curls as you just saw and then you guys will see the final look This is the end result you guys and I really really liked this perm rat set. I thought it was super duper cute. Like I said, it took entirely too long so I don't know how often I will do this. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I have the same patience I used to have back in the day because I used to do perm rat sets like literally weekly. But just look at these curls, look at the shine. My hair was so soft so recommend all of the products, especially my Divine Hair Elixir. Um, but yeah, super duper cute. Uh, I will at the end show you my hair on, I think it was fourth day hair. Um, but yeah, again, make sure you get your hands on my Define Hair Elixir before it sells out. Um, and I'm going to just do another close up one more time just so you guys can see what these curls are looking like. Because they were definitely and still are super moisturized. I haven't washed my hair yet, so yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in another video.